in in what up to the most beautiful subscribers in the galaxy several galaxies adjacent to our own and branching out further and further but if you're new here what what's up this is another quick one in the terms of um this is a bit time sensitive so I don't, I don't put urgent in my face all crazily and stuff because that's not how I get down. So straight to it. This is a investment DAO, Kepler DAO, which is using treasury back investment protocol. Kepler DAO helps to grow your wealth using DeFi tools. They have not started yet and they even have a whitelist in their discord that you can get into a coin launch and we'll talk all about these things here so what is kepler dow kepler dow is a DeFi investment protocol based on the keeper token so they have the keeper and the what is it the trove we'll get to some of these terminology is it trove yeah the trove so the keeper will be i'm going to use an example uh Sorry for the jarring change, but just want to show you kind of a little bit of how the screen will look similar in the future. So this is the stake screen. You see here the dashboard. I'm going to stake, but this is actually for Olympus, Olympus Dow, which is the the first, the granddaddy of them, of these uh, decentralized. And, and Kepler seems to be different. I'll get to that in a second. Very similar. You want it to be similar because Olympus Dow works, is working great. Uh, so... But anyway, you had so the unstaked is is called ohm and um yes ohm and then the staked is called s ohm and for Kepler DAO they'll have keeper somewhere here keeper and trove trove will be the staked keeper token in the protocol and so they have here you can see p keeper which is the option token to buy keeper by giving intrinsic value of keeper token these will be used to raise initial money for the protocol so these are given to people who are like investing in advance probably even now get p keeper and they'll come in important later when we talk about the supply then also just other terms a keeper maybe i'm not 100 percent is that will be distributed as a keeper during coin launch these can be redeemed directly as keeper tokens and i think that if you get into the whitelist and are able to buy tokens early I, i'm not 100 percent, but i believe it's the a keeper not necessarily the p keeper uh so but you know at all none of this is financial advice do your own research at all times Never trust anybody. Always think everybody lying and scamming you. Everything can disappear at a moment's notice. Don't ever put money you are willing to walk away from. So just go in these with little things and till you have a, a sense to where it's not, things don't won't bother you if they disappear. So anyway, keepers an investment protocol where each of the tokens going to be backed by assets in the treasury which consists of a diversified pool of keeper, stable coin, a liquidity pro uh, provider token. So the stable coin liquidity provider, um, a lot of what people are doing with the, with the, call it bonding or mentoring, whatever the terms, they call it bonding here, where they're taking liquidity tokens from other protocols and I don't wanna say hoard them, but you know, um, uh, taking them and staking them. So the big difference in, you know, besides that, it's just starting and you get in early. And that's, of course, important. Um, no one is stupid, <laughs> you know, but they also are. It appears to be trying to decentralizing, truly decentralizing the treasury, meaning they say here, our goal is to build a global treasury with less the community members democratically participate in Web3 protocols through their share in treasury backed keeper tokens. So anything that's coming up in DeFi, NFTs, Decentralized exchanges platforms, they're going to stand by everything and promise a brighter, more inclusive future of DeFi. As of right now, the top 11 DeFi protocols have a market cap. So, you know, just talking about the future is going to be very bright, very bright for DeFi. And I guess the, the thought is to be more democratic in the approach as opposed to some other organizations that appear to make decisions and not saying that, you know, do you have a, um, because maybe, you know, 
they may have a lot more participation from the community that seems than visible on the surface. But according to this, they're looking to see it more democratically in, in um, upcoming Web3 protocols. Interesting. So they have staking, which you get the keeper token, turn it into Trove and keep long term, see compound. Uh, they're looking at a rebase rate of like eight hours as well, if I'm not mistaken. I have to go through this, but they also have bonding, which will bring in. And they're trying to get a lot of uh, stable coins such as USDC, Tether, and Dai. Um, li uh, liquidity provider tokens of Kepler stable coin pairs from various decentralized exchanges such as Sushi Swap, Pancake Swap. So they're talking about Binance Chain, the Ethereum Chain. I know they also, I believe, they talked about um, having Solana and Polygon as well. So these DAOs have been doing well. Um, it's something interesting to get into and take a look at. They have not started yet. So what I would recommend for you to do is to come here to their website, which is Kepler DAO, K-E-P-E, -E, I'm sorry, K-E-P-L-E, R D A O dot finance, but you know, Google it and take a look, make sure it's the right website, and then um, join their Discord, see what's up with Twitter, get some more information, do your own research if you want, try to apply for the whitelist if you're interested in this. I think it um, applications end, I believe, on the 9th or the 10th. Today is the 8th of November 2021, so. I'm going to put this right out as soon as I finish this. And uh, best of luck. If there's something you're interested in seeing, I'm going to be there near the beginning and keep an eye on it. Um, similar to some of the others we, we've we talked about here, such as Clima or Ohm. So Wonderland time on the Avalanche network. This is on the Ethereum network. So people will get argue about the gas fees. They feel Ethereum is too expensive. As is, but Ethereum is also the big dog where the vast majority of the money is. And Ethereum will get cheaper over time. So you wouldn't want to miss out on being on the ground floor or something that can do really well, you know, especially when the, the upgrades come that make it much easier for everybody else, you know. So, just be, of course, none of this is investment advice. Be smart about everything you do at all times. But I saw this. Earlier, did a little bit of reading, um, you know, 100% full disclosure. I joined the, the Discord and filled out the white paper application, you know, I said, skip it. I'm going to film a video talking about it because, you know, if anybody else can jump in and, you know, I'm, I'm just curious other people's experience. You know, this is a, um, a growing thing for everybody. And so... Trying to still get, uh, fill it out, you know. I'm gonna fill out. I'm not, not, not gung ho. I believe anybody. I, I have no stake in it. I I, these people are. Like, I don't think anybody human beings can contact me, since I don't live in this plane, you know, um, that I transmit this in. I live in this plane. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't. You know, this is just me doing this and saying, hey, this may be some. If I. I you know, sometimes you get gun shy when you when you have some um, misfires, but then when you have some wins, people be like, "Oh, why didn't you tell me?" But like, well, I kind of did, or you know, did tell you you didn't do nothing, or you know, some things don't don't take off like you want to see. But hopefully, this do well. So, gonna give you that with that, all in that. You know how the game go. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.